cooking a kwang is not that easy at this this but if you think of how nice and tasteful it is you will just have to start the journey so it is in process first when you gather your cocoa yams you have to take off the skin just like what you are seeing on the video you have to take out the skin of every single cocoa yam that you will be using and after that you wash it and then you start the second process by grating all the cocoa yams no matter how small they are but there is a technique for those who are experts they are not afraid of their fingers like what is going on on the video the cocoa yams no matter how small it is it is being grated if you want to have your ekwan very tasteful i mean the real native ekwan in its natural way you don't need a blender if you blend the cocoa yams the ekwan will not come out delicious or nice looking so after the second process now is the third process what is going on now or oh, some salt has been added in the grated cocoa yams with a little bit of water to mix everything together so that the lump of cocoa yams that were being grated each and each will mix up together ready for the next process which is to arrange the leaves and again you use cocoa leaves to prepare this egg one the leaves are well selected and are ready for the next process which is to wrap the grated cocoa yams in the leaves just like what you're seeing take a little bit of grated cocoa yams put in a leaf roll it gently in a format that it will not be opened while in cook so it's a process as i said but if you think of how delicious this food is it is worth doing so after a handful of them this is the result most of it or nearly everything has been wrapped together and you know in each layer smoked fish is being added you see like now they have covered the first part of the smoked fish the arrangements are in layers it's an interesting process though now it's another layer of fish being added before cook as of this time two liters of water is on cook waiting for use the cooked water will help to hold the leaves together before it starts cooking so this is the last spice that is being added at this stage the water is added and it is cooked on medium low heat some palm oil is being added and they will cook together some fresh pepper was also added in it salt and seasoning cubes were also added in the pot and you see after 25 minutes this is the result the aroma that is coming from there is giving it tastes so well when preparing native equine you don't need ginger or garlic or any fresh spice this is how it is being served